all right guys welcome back it is game time i am game time barney and today i want to talk about mcdonald's and really any fast food joint or chain restaurant or you know any business like that that we all experience on you know a daily weekly monthly business um We use these establishments for their convenience, right? Mm. Super convenient to drive over to a McDonald's or a Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Applebee's, you know, wherever. Pull up to a, to a drive-thru, order a full meal, a drink, you know, a side and a main course, and rip out of there in, you know, 10 minutes and be fed and they've been around for a long time like a long fucking time and it's still to this day it is 2023 and they can't get an order right i don't know of another business industry other than like fast food or like the food industry that can get an order incorrect as often as they do at certain places and still be around and making money i mean think about it you go to a car dealership you order a brand new uh 2023 uh jeep wrangler you want it to be black with a black and blue interior you want it to have 31 inch tires you want it to have a hard and soft top. You pay for all of this stuff and you drop, you know, $50,000. You go and pick it up and it's green. It only has 28 inch tires. Um, it's two wheel drive, not four wheel drive. It only has a hard top, not a soft top. Like it's, it's, got, it's got shit wrong with it. You're not just gonna say, oh, that's okay you know, and drive off the lot with it. And you're not even going to say, oh, that's fine. Can you just fix it for me and then give it to me? You would flip your shit and re demand, not request, but really demand, you know, a price break or, you know, to straight up Karen the manager into something because of the great, huge inconvenience that you've received, you know, over the that company or that employee's inability to do their job correctly. But we don't do that at Walmart or, I'm sorry, McDonald's or Burger King or Taco Bell. See, first thing, by the time you get your bag and you're rummaging through it, whoever your co-pilot is in the passenger seat, you're already halfway home. So what are you gonna do, turn around and go back? Chances are you're just gonna say, fuck it, whatever. I'm just going to eat whatever I got. It's it's whatever, right? Because you're already pissed, but you're still hungry. Or you're going to call and bitch, and they're going to say, give me your name, and then the next time you come in, you'll get, you'll get something for free. But then you forget about it because you don't go every day or every week. Or you do turn around. You go back. You get your food for free, but you got to wait another 20 minutes to get your food made to order, and it's just a huge inconvenience, and then, like, it's not. Then you've now paid for somebody else to make your food. You paid for the convenience, but now it's inconvenienced you. You've still, you know, it's it's that, that level of, ugh, that it really just, I don't understand how it works. But yeah, I don't, I just, I, I guess I don't understand in this day and age how it is that fast food restaurants specifically, now I'm going to narrow it down to fast food restaurants and specifically fast food restaurants that, that deal in drive through right? How they can allow the number of orders going out their drive through window incorrectly to be as high as it is and still be okay and then still... Like, at least in this state. I'm in New York. They want these children, for the most part, they're high school kids or recent high school graduates or college kids trying to get through school or, 
you know, 90 year old grandmothers that can't really do a whole lot else. You know, retired people that just want a part time gig, whatever. But the majority of them are younger kids. Want like $17 an hour. Like that to be their minimum wage. And they can't even do their fucking job correctly. Excuse me, but no. I've worked assembly lines for companies. I have worked in many, many, many different fields. And to make $17 an hour, you had to be proficient at your job. You had to know the ins and outs of your field. You had to be able to uh, perform exemplary to be able to make a wage like that. I mean, I remember when I worked at McDonald's, uh, granted this was, I get it, it was 20 years ago, I was making $7.50. But still, $7.50 in those days isn't $17 today. It's just not. But you're still only, you're only required to do the same jobs that I did. Like the amount of work, the type of work, that hasn't increased or changed. It all, one bit, not at all. So now I'm going to move on to their inability to communicate is just fucking mind-blowing. I just went through the drive-thru, as you can see. Got a, I got a combo meal, drink, fries, you know, and, and, and my entree. Now, because they screwed my order up, and this is how often it happens, just the last week, they screwed my order up so bad, and then had me waiting so long to get my order, I got two free combo meals, and they refunded my meal, and then cooked me a brand new one for free. So I got my meal, I got my $11 back, and they gave me two free combos, totaling, you know, if you put them both together, that's another $20 value. So I got $33, $31 worth of value because they screwed that, you know, somebody screwed my meal up. <laughs> so now today I go to use one of those coupons. The person in the drive-thru says, yes, sir, what would you like? I gave them the combo number that I wanted. I even let them know that I had this coupon for a free combo told me to pull up to the first window. I instantly hand it to the young lady at the at the window and I get told, what's this? I said, oh, it's for a free combo. Oh, we're not accepting any coupons or codes today. Our system's down. I said, then 30 seconds ago, why did the young lady taking my order tell me to just pull ahead to the first window when I told her I was, you? do you see like how frustrating again? Like I haven't even gotten my meal at this point and I'm already frustrated. Like it's already an inconvenience. So then I pay, I, you know, I pay with my card. I get pulled up to the next window. Then they ask me to pull ahead to the next window because my food's not ready, which is fine. I just, there's an order of progression. Like there's a way the system's set up. There's things put in place and they're supposed to be doing things a certain way. And they're not, but continually you hear all the time, like in the press and in social media and on TV that these employees are... All they want is better wages and, um, you know, they they can't make a living off of their... Well, working at McDonald's was never supposed to be I'm gonna, a career for somebody. Unless you were going to one day own your own McDonald's, working at McDonald's was a stepping stone to get your first job and customer... Ex uh, first job and career experience in customer service, dealing with money you know, how to balance your job in like school or job and other stuff. Like that's all those jobs are for. Like dead ass straight up on God. That's all those jobs are for. Again, unless you're that kid that at 17, you already know you want to be a franchise owner and you are going to own McDonald's's or Taco Bell's or whatever. That's all those jobs are. They're a stepping stone to teach you discipline, how to go to work on time, you know, how to not call in, get customer service skills, stuff like that. How to follow orders, <laughs> which clearly they're not learning. But I just wanted to get other people's opinions on this and really put it out there. So get in the comments. Let me know how you feel about these, these establishments. Let me know some of your horror stories about it. Um, or some of your really great stories. I mean, uh, personally, I had a McDonald's where I used to live that really never screwed up. They were usually pretty on point. Um, but this one where I live now, I don't think I've gone there 
a single time yet since I've lived here in three years and not something in the order has been screwed up. So if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see the next one, make sure you uh, slap that like button, hit the subscribe button so you know the next time that uh, we go live and, or sorry, not go live, but the next time we upload and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.